Hello there, I'm Mark and today I have another brilliant Star Wars novel for you. But you probably already guessed it, of course we continue with our every two week series. Traitor is the 13th novel in the New Jedi Order series. After the Yu Zhan Wong took the heart of the New Republic with Coruscant, even the bravest fear that the overwhelming foes may no longer be defeated. But unexpectedly, a new hope appears. Jason Solo, believed dead, has survived. He's in the care of a Jer, uh, being whose minds are hard to fathom and whose cruelties are hard to endure. This master of incredible art teaches the young Jedi Knight a previously unknown way of using the Force. But let's go into more detail without spoiling too much, of course. Jason Solo endures horrific tortures in his captivity at the hands of the Yuzhan Vong. In his painless minutes of not being tortured, Vajer gives Jason a vision of a different perspective of the Force. A perspective he had never seen before. Vajer also leads her captive to a hidden location of the sea chip, where she shows Jason a breeding collection of duriums, explaining that these are creatures capable of taking control of an entire planet. Only one durium will remain at the end, which will then control the new capital planet of the Yuzhan Vong as the world brain. In an inadvertent moment, Vajer rams one of her slave control organisms into Jason's body. At that moment, all Jedi in the galaxy feel the young Jedi's death, as it also separates him from the Force. Finally, on the planet Coruscant, Jason awakens to find his former homeworld completely destroyed, now overgrown with mutated plants and a strange ring of asteroids orbiting Coruscant. Even the position of the surrounding moons has been changed, and the planet's location is now closer to the sun, making it significantly warmer. Stunned by what he saw, Vajer tells Jason that he's now on the homeworld of the gods. The Yuzhan Vong henceforth call the planet Yuzhan Tar. In an extensive conversation about the Force, Jason comes to the realization that there is neither a dark side nor light side of the Force. It's much more up to the individual Force user to use the full power of the Force. The only thing that matters is the purpose for what, which it's used. And along with Nomanur, who is also on the planet, Vajer convinces Jason that he is a god of the Yuzhan Vong. And meanwhile, other areas of the galaxy are convinced of the solo child's death due to the shattering of the Force. Only the Jenna Gana Raisod follows rumors that indicate a possible survival of Jason. And if you want to know how this all ends, of course you have to read the book. I won't spoil it here. I'll see you in my next video. I'll be back.